Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you all my recipe for a gluten-free doubles. Yes, the gluten-free doubles is finally here. Look how soft the barra is going to be. So to make this, we're going to start with some almond flour. Next, some tapioca starch. Some baking flour, gluten-free flour. Turmeric, which is going to give it that yellow color. Salt some yeast, some baking powder and some sugar and we're going to mix this and now go in with some lukewarm water to bring this together. I used one and a half cups of lukewarm water. Now when you're mixing this you want a very runny batter. I'm adding in a little more turmeric because I want it to be a really nice yellow color. And next, in a frying pan, I'm going to go in with some Nariel coconut oil. Now you guys can make this without the oil if you want, or you can put as much or as little oil as you like. So I'm going in with a, with a little of that batter. Now I did notice, after trying out this recipe, you don't need a lot of oil to cook this. So I started off with about two tablespoons, but afterwards I cut down to almost nothing. You want to cook this until it has a light brown color. Remember it's different from flour, so it's going to take a little longer to cook. After it's finished, you want to drain it in some paper towels and continue frying the rest of the dough. Or the batter. Next to make the filling, so to my soap chana I'm going in with some baking soda, some salt and we're going to bring this up to a boil until it's very tender. While boiling you want to skim off those impurities and then set aside. In a pot I'm going in with some coconut oil again. Now this oil is from CGA Limited and I'm going in with some chopped onions. Some pimento peppers and some minced garlic. Now we're going to saute this until it has a light brown color for about 30 seconds. Next, going with some mild curry powder and toast that for about 20 seconds. Once toasted, we're going to go in with a little bit of green seasoning and some water to help the curry cook. We're going to cook it until it turns into a thick paste. Next, go in with that boiled chana. And continue to cook until this chana thickens up and has a nice consistency. Set aside, make sure and taste it and adjust your salt accordingly. Now to assemble. So with two pieces of barra, place your chana. Go in with some shadow benny or shadow benny seasoning or bandanier seasoning. Some tamarind or mango chutney, whatever you like. Some hot sauce or pepper sauce. And that's it. Now you can put as much condiments as you want on this, even some grated cucumber chutney or some coconut chutney. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I was really excited about this. Make it let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!